very good morning to you all and uh, good evening good day and uh, good night for uh, a few of your learners those who joined this uh, four weeks mooc uh, on academic counseling for odl learners i know i have seen uh, our all participants from diverse in nature just not from the one domain there are from several domains and uh, they are joining here with different purposes as uh, as you know uh, through expressing your interest uh, giving your pre survey questionnaire that we found that your purpose of joining this course is different to one another so thank you very much for your interest and uh, joining this course uh, we at uh, semka and commonwealth of learning and uh, odisha state open university welcomes you to this uh, live session where we can interact with uh, uh, professor satyanarayana who is uh, sorry president. uh sorry sir uh, sorry to interrupt you but uh, i think your uh, sir has joined us so okay sir already joined yes sir okay is with us great so um, uh thank you thank you asim uh, giving us this up update uh, professor satyanarayan joined us and uh, we welcome you all to this uh, live session uh, Uh, Narena and uh, eminent educationist in the open and distance. And uh, we're moving to listening to him for another forty uh, minutes. And uh, I should not be between the learner and uh, teacher. So uh, now I would like to request uh, Dr. Anshuman Jena, my colleague from Uttarakhand Open University. to formally introduce and welcome professor uh, satyanarayan over to dr ansuman namaste hello and a very warm welcome to one and all this and this has been a fascinating journey for all of us at odisha state open university from the inception of this idea to design developed this massive open online course and today as we interact live in this session i am dr anshuman jena i am working as an academic consultant in the management discipline in odisha state open university i am excited to introduce our honorable resource person for this session professor satyanarayan <laughs> professor satyanarayan currently holds the office of the director staff training and research institute of distance education and he is also the professor of distance education in the indira gandhi national open university new delhi india he has been actively involved in the field of open and distance learning since more than 30 years and he has in in a uh, very in his Uh, illustrious career of 30 years he holds very critical positions like uh, regional director and uh, several other uh, very responsible positions as well as he has been uh, associated with stride of ignu as a trainer as a teacher as a consultant and he has also consulted several international agencies and uh, 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 countries in the field of imparting distance education in ghana ethiopia africa and other country he has authored several research papers several books and he has been uh, one of the torch bearers of open and distance learning in india so without any further delay i request professor satyanarayan to take over and deliver his Talk. Over to you, sir. Ah, uh, 
Good morning to all, especially good morning to Manas and uh, Anjuman. Uh, this is an opportunity to see you all, other esteemed participants. I'm from STRIDE, Staff Training and Research Institute on Distance Education, Indira Gandhi National Open University. I'm holding as a director here. Uh, it's my opportunity. It's my friend, the Vice Chancellor, Mahapatra. Yesterday called me and address, uh, asked me to address this. I was not prepared in mentally because I don't know the subject, because which area I have to take. Because of given friendship, I have forcibly accepted. Because whenever Mahapatra asks anything, he's a pragmatic person and a friend, and he used to extend all his cooperation to us. When he's asking a small favor, it's okay, daily routine, and we have accepted. Manas, we know each other. We have seen in many training programs. And uh, here in Stride, we are conducting always training programs. It's a payment training program, free of cost training programs, and refreshery programs, orientation programs, six, five days, seven days, 21 days. This is a regular business of Stride. Stride strongly believe training is a capacity building Capacity building, we further defined as a capacity sharing. Sharing is caring. When you have care, you will also empower them. Sharing is caring, caring is empowering. This is the premise which we work here at Stride. And we have developed so many booklets which is available in Stride website. You can go through it's an open edu educational source, and you can one can use it wherever you wanted to have access to body of knowledge. What is happening in open and distance education? Whenever we talk about ODL, particularly SEMCA, IGNO, STRIDE, COAL, we are giving a knowledge, systemic knowledge, we are not, sorry, we are not uh, discipline experts. This system tells us how to impart teaching, learning at distance. This is most important. Imparting knowledge, techniques, and principles of learning at distance is more important. So the teacher, modern teacher, any teacher today, the market demands is multi-skilled. One skill is not enough. If you are expert in your own discipline, it will not serve the purpose. So what we are expecting, it's a multi-skilled job. One has to have systemic knowledge. One has to have discipline knowledge. You have to blend this together. My friends at uh, Semka, they are always preachers, blending up, blend, uh, blended learning. You blend anything, finally bring a meaning to it, meaningful. That is the purpose of this uh, workshop. I think uh, I was delayed because of connectivity. Uh, the organizers, I want to know how much time you are giving to me. Can I use one hour or half an hour? Uh, depending on that, I'll cut short my lecture. Sir, uh, you, you have 40 minutes to speak. Uh, now we have already almost crossed uh, uh, 10 minutes. So um, another, another 30 minutes you need to um, uh, speak. Then another 20 minutes we think we have uh, the interaction with our participations. Uh, okay. Can I take uh, another 50 minutes to... Uh, and take 10 minutes for interaction. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, I think uh, being a self-learner, I would like to be more self-learning. Uh, you need not have much questions. Absolutely. Uh, so I have sent my PowerPoint. Anybody can help me to operate from your side. We will see. I have seen they have given you literature, module one and module two. 
where we have find the concepts of ordeal this ordeal basically one has to understand it is a paradigm shift from face to face it is a paradigm shift paradigm shift to denote change change is the constant factor in all walks of life including education this is the basic fanta one should remember again we find there are so many paradigms within the distance education we see online education offline education today moves by product of ict so that is another syndrome so we get we have so we have been calling this odia with very various names uh system is one nomenclatures are many system is one we call uh, external exams private studies these are not education only op distance education icd conference insisted that is only distance education because there is a concern for learner what is concern for learner how to teach how to impart knowledge at distance so my lecture goes to like this i will explain basic things of odiel it is out of box out of box again i am repeating uh, my lecture is general and out of box out of box is also a box so my friends will appreciate the out of box with it the one system called with many names but the basic umbrella term is open and distance learning this is the basic fanta distance education is a methodology how to impart knowledge at a distance open learning is a philosophy distance education is a methodology in its learning principles it involves how knowledge is to be imparted at a distance open learning again is a philosophy philosophy believes in accessibility flexibility and educational equity accessibility is a promise flexibility is a commitment educational equity is a philosophy education equity is a philosophy because there is nothing like equity full equity even in america you find begging begging in a different style i am in serious crisis please help me a placard like it so equity you define according to the contest but our education is trying to bring equity and odiel has done so many things since it's a 40 60 70 years of learning we have seen it shift from face to face to um uh face to face to uh, within the face to face to odiel odiel to we are seeing in online offline blended all these new forms it is a by product of uh, this one next slide please next slide please ah actually what is created this odiel producer self learning material first time in indian history odiel has created its own indigenous learning material it is the first system otherwise we used to borrow the books the best books written by great people but we made an attempt to bring here and we have introduced the credit system second point introduced grading and marking system developed guidelines through deck on assessment and teaching learning process it's a guidelines not a more statutory status when deck was in igno we have developed how to design how to develop how to delivery how to assess the learner and how to assess the overall system this is the first time now ugc mandate says that we have to follow this quality mandate if you see the ugc website 
quality mandate is there. We have already doing it. And we have also introduced multimedia, multiple media in education system, audio, video, radio, ICT. ICT based enabled education system and OER is a very great revolution. Next, OER because one cannot create the knowledge in lifestyle. Every 14 days, their knowledge is being doubled. And the spirit of ODL is from learner to people, people to learner, scholar to student, and they can have accessibility. This is OER. Next slide, please. Then uh, I, another uh, first time introduced online blended system of education system. Second, uh, nine point is cost-effective and cost-efficient system. This is, see, this is the major uh, stumbling block for education. Today, GE are also, we are insisting some of the course fee waiver. Why? Because we have wanted to bring out gross enrollment ratio. And we have created a mega university where 10,000 above learners are there. And in India, we have three. Global spread of Indian educational system. Otherwise, all the time education is glorified with the colonial people, Goravala. They are getting assertion. So this is all learning objectives and outcomes. We don't have any learning objectives. Always we have a teacher-aided books. Here in ODL system, we first say what you are going to study, what is the aim. Based on the aim, we take the objectives, objectives and the guidelines. And we conceptualize the teaching learning process based on this. This is an attempt, serious attempt. And it is a breakthrough. ODL system is a design development delivery system. And uh, evaluation introducing innovative. ODL is a fertile land for innovation and creativity. Next. Next, please. Higher education system made revenue generating first time. This is we have done. ODL has done, not IGNO. I'm not giving entire credit to IGNO. The system ODL has such a powerful, highly popular system hijacked by private sector. When public sectors are prosperous, it will go to the private sector. This is what is happening. And public sector people will not be able to sustain ourselves. Training in higher education, continuous training development. This is one of the most important feature for the new learners, what we call in Nolia. Here, what has happened? What has happened after creating 16 points at first time? Everybody is using, nobody is acknowledging. This is one of the very, very serious point. So we don't want any acknowledgement, but as a system, we should get acknowledged because we put our energies. I don't say give it to importance to coal or Semka or Igno, but system is powerful and system need. That's why I always feel the success of ODL depends on three parameters, coordinating, coordination among the statutory bodies of education, any country. Integrity of the people. When we produce a kid, we should take care of. And success has so many fathers, but education being success, it has become an orphan. Nobody is looking at it seriously. Integrity area and a policy and OP, ODL system is a must. These are the things which make the system strong. And let me go to the next slide. Here, I would like to make, you see, there are so many concepts, traditional concept, Otto Peters, David Stewart, Michael Moore. I, if I bring all those concepts, this is a new learner is not, they want ready-made. That's why one has to think next. Uh, first, which uh, 
this is important a teaching living teacher a thinking teacher should think so i i say always say abc about chintan i saw somewhere in tv channel abc with about cooking i said about chintan we'll think something some never think few think that they are thinking but do not know how to think thinking over thinking is thinking are we really thinking where we are next next slide please so these are the issues before us odl infrastructure there are two perceptions those who are seriously believing the system they are called optimist chalte re chalni de chalte rehta hai wo pessimism hai those who are optimistic they are disturbed optimist sometimes things will not go like that so this is the one of the perceptions in public institutions life so it is irrespective in the global phenomena also i have seen odl using and nobody is recognizing next slide please ah yeah this is a innovative land odl is a basically a innovation experiment and creativity is the best it is a fertile land for innovation and experimentation and creating we develop courses on pilot basis when it is successful we appropriate them we have top down model top demand model policy makers tell us you do this course because of this need we land it take bottom demand people chahiye people ko chahiye we customize curriculum we customize uh, curriculum as per the learners needs and we pilot basis they once experiment is consolidated it is appropriate this is possible whereas in face to face it is not possible once you have opened a discipline that each irrespective of teacher's competency and commitment he will remain for his entire service but odl you can hire the best people use them and make the courses and give it to them once it is consolidated you can expand next slide this is the glory of uh, this is the greatness of open and distance education next ha uh, this is one of the important thing we think in odl it is multiplier effect one one is not two it is 11 it is multiplying one uh, level level again 339 i see it is multiplying earlier we have in education each one teach one now it is multiplying because of technology it is always available anywhere everywhere you can access to knowledge uh you can access to knowledge next slide please same explanation same each one teach one where abhi dekho multiplying effect this is a next and it is multiplied next next slide so one begins many way imitates and the year my presentation is slightly different i have used my brain and i have made a transaction analysis in distance education i am not going to transaction analysis in a nutshell a to z i will tell tell you what is open and distance education any meaningful communication is education friends you all agree with me any meaningful communication bakwas nahi any meaningful communication is education if it is written or produced in multimedia multiple media then it is called open and distance education this is my own this is my own reflection my own reflection. all forms of communication or learning is an education process next we will go slightly speedily because time is up it is a borderless seamless education called system it is called open and distance education odl system is called by many names many names but system is only one open and distance education whatever it is it even it is moocs it is a by product of open and distance education see next closed mind and open learning do not go together when you evolve curriculum 
देर इज एन अग्री टू डिस एक एक बार वॉर होता है रूम में करिकुलम ब्रेक थ्रू लाना बोले तो दैट्स वे इट इज सेड ओपन आइडिया ओपन टू पीपल अप्रोचेस फ्रेमवर्क मेथोडोलॉजी फर्स्ट टू बिलीव शो इन यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इज दे हैव कमिटेड डी प्लीज डेलीवरी ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट यू डिजाइन एंड डेवलप इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ यू डिलीवर द थिंग्स आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ यू टेक द पोस्ट आफ्टर सेल सर्विस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट This is the D E. Please carry carry on. I will uh, everywhere, anywhere. One can study, learn, empower an ordeal. Yeah, again, it manipulates the technology, media, teaching, learning purpose. It, one can manipulate the technology, no problem. But the purpose is to educate others. E F. Next, face to face education. The teachers center say. the teachers excellence is recognized in odl the team excellence is recognized one is producing one is designing one is developing with proper media methods one is delivering through private resources fair resources this is a team work is essential if in open university any single individual say i have done that is a totally misconception it is a team that make the product g the gamut of open and distance education is nothing but learner support services the learner is the main core he is the bower be roti kapda makan he is the base he is the better for uh, bread for us and the other struggle g h thoda speed jan ho for provide education for all elitism in education democracy in practice do not go together once you want to make democracy successful we have to make education all integrity of the people is the core of odl system chori karna nahi plagiarism is there copyright system is there commonwealth and simca has exhausted explaining this uh, copyright policy and they have gone, gone for op od this uh, open educational resources but it started from unesco restlessly they are working for this j next jugot in india we call it now international dictionary also says say, they say alternative to odl system what is that jugot is a indigenous technology you use your own tools in sanskrit they say it is not shakti it is yukti the purpose is goal that is the open end system jo jeeta wahi sikandar acha books ko yahi market mein hoi jayega acha system evaluation system hai udhar hi jayega institutional credibility hai udhar hi jayega sab log a nahi aa sakte l next please control aapke paas hai ha ah, yeah lifelong learning and self learning is the basic form of odl system this is the lifelong learner continuous learner self learner using ict and any time anywhere you have to learn next um mindset is very 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 important before entering into odl system you have to believe in this system the british open university the odl learners are performed better than others it is always possible in it next next please and new career avenues odl is a new career avenues for the new learners new teachers in the globalization process who is the new learner who is acquainted with the technology who is acquainted acquainted with the modern tools आजकल रिसर्च कंप्यूटर टेबल पे बैठ के 22 इयर्स बॉय इज वर्किंग ऑन रिसर्च डेटा इज अवेलेबल दिस इज अ न्यू लर्नर न्यू कैरियर एवेन्यूज वंस यू एक्सेस विद द टेक्नोलॉजी आई ऑलवेज से ई लर्निंग इज नॉट ए रिलीजन टू प्रीच इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल टूल टू प्रैक्टिस एज मच यू प्रैक्टिस सो मच यू गेट पॉपुलरिटी again oh open learning is a philosophy aims at flexibility as its promise as i said accessibility equity 
uh, accessibility is its commitment, equity is its philosophy. Distance education is a methodology, a methodology. Jugaad nahi hota hai. Methodology laga ke jugaad laga do. Contextually, local dialects use kar sakte. Aap. You can use local dialects to impart knowledge. That is o M O P. Personalized education system. Learner's autonomy. You learn the books. You learn from your experience and learn, verify from the concept. This is possible. There is nobody to condition you. You can condition yourself. You can have focus and you can show your team. Less dependency, more Atma Nirvarata, our Prime Minister says. Quality is, a, again, next. Quality is a benchmark here. Quality is contest, quality is purpose, quality is cost, quality is time, fitness to the purpose. Quality is a journey. Thode din hum kaam karke, wohi quality nahi hota hai. It is a lifelong journey. Quality is a journey, not a destination. And in fact, quality is simple, minding your own business. But whatever culture, what is happening in our culture, people are complicated in and out. They spoil karegaapku, where you lose your perception. So quality is the basic parameter. Those who have quality in 21st century, they will survive in the market, rest will go out. Next. You are realistic assessment of performance indicator. That's why this program evaluation is very, very important. What said and what done? What are the gaps? This is the ODL system has created this. Then comes to self-assessment, assessment of objective situation is always desirable, valuable. One gets, this is one, or S. Next X, please, soda speed. Shameless borrowing of knowledge for seamless education. This is my own pet word, OER. You need not worry. You cannot create all the knowledge in your life. You take them, acknowledge them, show your integrity, and make a cake for others to learn. Next, T. <coughs> yeah, first time ODL history, a higher education history, they talked about the traits of a teacher. Who has done? Who talked about higher education traits? Only school education we have teacher qualities. In uh, ESA, wage, this is acronym, warmth, a sense of feeling towards other learners. Acceptance without higher and lower expectations. Genuine dealing with the issues. You should be a teacher, you should be much more genuine because generations will believe you. Empathy, it is against sympathy, feeling a pinch, putting your legs and other shoe. These are all traits of learners. Next, please. Again, ODL is cost-effective, cost-benefit, because it uses all the available resources, spare resources from the host institution, or spare resources from the intellectuals, and they pay over. We are the good pay masters because we are supposed to be the good monitors. Unless you pay them, you will not get the quality. This is the benchmark. Next, utilization of maximum available resources. Victory is the beginning. It's consolidation, expansion, appropriation is end. Any victory is the beginning. It's a responsibility. Any victory is a responsibility. And uh, whatever the victory, we get it. We have to accept it and we have to work upon it. Otherwise, your victory will go. Day by day, knowledge is doubling. Technology is uh, changing its facets and you have to compete. Next, please. So, uh, World Wide Web, this has created a world revolution in education, industry, what not. Today you can sit in your table and see the entire globe. 
you can go to Canada and come back. And you can say, how is Canada? So such a technology has provided seamless access, seamless access and a, a, a conceptual relevance and evaluation methods, design models, methods and methodologies, purpose of using, this is all possible. Next, please, W, X. If this is the leadership. Leadership means Delphic leadership is one. Delphic is apparently ambiguous, perceptionally clear. Apparently ambiguous, perceptionally clear. Erudite leadership means knowledge. Knowledgeable, learning person, both concept and application. Courage and courage and passion is its basic. Why? Next to why? Please, next. YouTube, SSM, social media is his vehicle for education. It is all for entertainment all these days. Now it made education. It is all convertible. Technology for adults, it's difficult. For a small, young infant learner, they will take your phone and within five minutes they familiarize with it. Media is a tool always. Your thinking is master. You have to use the media as a servant and you improve. That's why I said some things, some never think, few think that they are think, but they do not know how to think. Media ICT is a mind activity, should be integrated with heart. Otherwise, there is no purpose. Bolnaik, Karnaik. Then Jibra crossing. This is one of the most important. There are guidelines, UGC regulations in India. We have formed regulations for open and distance education. You should be abide by that and you can use the, manipulate the existing resources and you can make the cake and give it to them. This is a, a positive side of open university. Uh, limitations of open university, we'll go. Next slide, please. Next slide. Ah, ye to limitations hai. Next. Ah, Abhimanya syndrome. Entry easy, exit is difficult. It is a negative feature. Subloga January, dropouts in open and distance education is more. So institution facilitate. Support services to minimize the dropout. B, next. Next slide, please. Borrowing the best knowledge is not only important, but recognizing, acknowledging original source is a matter of integrity of the borrower. So here, borrowing best, but you have to see legal framework. O sub, fill B, it, you have to acknowledge them. Uh, everybody is using, I said, no, nobody. See, see. See, please. Who is operating my flights? Uh, common belief that ODL system, it is a milch cow. Only revenue generating. It is not like that. Look, A. Amirik Singh Sabne Bola, a milch cow. It's not a milch cow. It is also a, have a serious concern to educate all. So we have to redefine ourselves because negative feelings are spread so easily. D, next. D, please. Distance education considered as a secondary form of education. In reality, it's a second chance for education. So whatever I say, limitations, one has to change the mindset and prove it in practice. So the E, it is not a second grade. It is a second chance. E, economy, education became a commodity. It is not a commodity in the globalization process. But education is a service. One should be change their mindset. Service, whatever, face-to-face, -face, school, college, university, wherever it is, it is a service, 
Next F. Future open distance education, we have challenges from aggressive private market. You have to compete. You can compete only with quality. Nothing other not other than quality. F. G. Next, next. Government aims distance education as a powerful to increase gross enrollment ratio. Even they <coughs> multiply face-to-face -face institutions, they cannot eradicate illiteracy. Only means that ODL is the only source. Even Prime Minister's office, World Bank is after for us. You increase your grassroots. Do anything, we will support you. So this is a and when we are dealing with the distance education, Professor Ramledi cautioned that they should be much more careful with the shoot politicians and, uh, and bureaucrats. If you convince them, you will be successful. Next, I will stop it within five minutes. O for public sector evolve as a leaders in higher education. Gains name now H. This is hoping for a public sector because public sector has a concern. H I. Next I. Then total speed jana. I. Pick fast. Anjuman, I am not able to reason you. Listen to you. What you are saying. I. Importance of ODL has been recognized globally. Proper acknowledgement is not given into public domain. This is important. I, J. Next, J. Judicial mixture of media and methods are more important. Whenever you choose any program, launch any program, this media is must. So it should be rationally mixed and a judicious media, J, K. Next, Toda Speed, I am crossing the time. JK, karma alone manifests the dharma. Unless you do work, you cannot identify. The people who have taken responsibility of doing this sacred job, they have everything. Uh, then L, otherwise karya, simply duty. L, liberalization, privatization, and globalization are emerging trends in education in Anvodia. This is one should be aware of it, what the trend is going, how it is going, how it is to be managed. Then M, ah, monitoring in ODL system considered is a balancing force to see the promise and performance, reducing the gap. Monitoring is not a policing. We are not policing, we are teachers. We will put in a side track and uh, we see the best consolidation is possible. Yen, and uh, it is a global system, nothing particular. I sometimes, uh, I to provoke people, I say, North has a tremendous qualities, initiation and leadership, because they are in the border areas, they are prone to cold, they are prone to hot, so they have that spirit. South, simple city, committed, competent, and conservative. And East, historical reforms and natural resources. West, industry and commerce. That explanation is working for one place, working for all. So we should have no borders. Distance education is borderless. The distance education is dead. It's not. Distance is dead in teaching learning. That next, next, next. This is uh, it's not a second second chance. Okay, na ye. Next. Ma, yeah, this is most important in public sector. Some people are competent, but not um, but not committed. Some are committed but not competent. Some are neither competent nor committed. 
But the system required both committed and competent. This is personal trait of a teacher. Are we really this? We have to introspect. 20th century is the century of quality, I have been telling. Quality is a buzzword. And 20, everybody talks about the quality. Practicing quality is required parameters, benchmarking. Next, next. Next, please. Reform in education is always appropriate. The strategy and direction towards the reforms is more important. Reforms, not for reforms. We are bringing so many reforms, but we don't have a uh, milestones, where to go, how to go. So few people are struggling. Even Commonwealth accumulating research, uh, studies, knowledge, but it is not spreading among the people. But we have to sit together and think. Now it is in a highly integrating time. Next. T, please T. S, success I have already told you. Coordination, integrity of the people, statutory position for distance education. Next T. T, here. Teachers working in the ODR often feel that they are unacknowledged legislators of the knowledge workers in the knowledge society. Somebody produces, somebody takes away. So they feel that they are alienated from their community. They are de-skilled and they are becoming generalist. One should maintain that professionalism, which is not it. Using other resources is a better policy, but acknowledging them is a best policy. I have taken something from Anjuman, something from Manas, I have to acknowledge. Virtual learning is mostly confined to access in all its resources than learning resources in teaching learning. If this is a long, long back feeling, it has to be up upgraded. Now it has taken different dimensions. Next. Next, please. W again, web is not a religion to preach. Any technology is not a religion to preach. It is a powerful tool to practice. Be aware of the vendors of technology. Technology is a product of a prudent mind, but not, um, but not heart. All this is technology mind game over. It is not heart game we own. We have to involve that. X-Men syndrome. One cannot change everyone. One can influence the change. One has commitment and competence. Such competence and commitment may lead to change. Influence is different, change is different. Educator has to be educated. Brainwasher has to be brainwashed. Now we should let us all think how far we are right, how far we are wrong, open debate. YouTube's powerful social networks, these are all daily we are witnessing. Our words are made. Next. Next. Zebra crossing. Again, cost effectiveness. Education, financial health of the university. Investment of infrastructure is important. Professor Amredi says, within the five years, an institution, whatever it grows, Growth takes place, that is the benchmark. Afterwards, policymakers will not give you money. You have to generate money. So these are the limitations. I don't know what I have done in this class. I have tried to give us an overview of the open and distance education, departing traditional theories. David Stewart talks about the learner's concern, continuity of concern. Otto Peters talks about the industrial nature of teaching learning. And he has again paradigm shift in his thinking, says it is a digital forms of learning. It is a not mechanical. These are all the books for uh, my transaction analysis, which is not uh, presently useful. Now I leave it to my learned colleagues, participants. They can ask me anything based on my observations or in general or Indian practices. Whatever my experience permits, I will do it. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity to me. I am last moment, I made it a jugad.
used my yukti and I have not shown my shakti, actual competent shakti, for which I apologize from all of you. And I made sincerely whatever you know, I would like to share. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, this is uh, really uh, very nice, well-organized, uh, uh, thought-provoking uh, presentation. And uh, all of our, our participants enjoying a lot, I can able to see here. Asim, if you, if you can stop the presentation so that I can share my slide. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to share with you, sir, uh, the few questions we received from the participants, uh, which we can, uh, I just wanted to show here. Uh, these questions we can take uh, attempt and uh, uh, which I collected from the chat box. And uh, there are many questions, many queries and many uh, thoughts and discussions has been in the chat box. You can uh, have a look also into that. Manas, Manas, you can edit and give me questions. I will try to... Yeah, absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. I'm just doing that one only uh, for you. And uh, uh, these, these are the uh, over edge questions, but very important questions I would like to take that. It because seems... Because of time, as possible. Absolutely, absolutely. It seems that uh, uh, ODL is philosophy which is context specific and includes all fields of study, not just ICT. Is it, uh, is it uh, the uh, reality? Yes, it is the reality as uh, uh, Professor Satyanarayana rightly pointed out in every aspect to looking into moving from the beginning of the ODL system to right now in the 21st century ODL system. Uh, sir, one more question, which is uh, also one of the discussion point in our portal, that is, is there any difference between uh, uh, online learning and uh, distance learning? This is open and distance learning. It means online learning is talking about just to reflect on this, sir, over to you. Actually, I said, now nah, this is a paradigm shift. Within the paradigm shift, you find so many paradigm shifts. Face-to-face -face is a paradigm shift from face-to-face -to, -face to ODL. ODL, again, technology is a byproduct of ODL system. Once you introduce the technology, it is extended. Now I said, now nah, one plus one is two. No, not no, two, it is 11. That synergetic effect is doubled because of technology. Technology, ODL basically talks about the systemic learning. Actually, the point comes here. When you talk about technology, you should also have a soft skills. How to write? If you write a lesson, you should know what is the aim of your particular unit. And you derive objectives from the aim and you conceptualize, concept map karega. So these are all interlinked. That's why I always quote that uh, Sudha Murthy, Varishya's writer, Naran Murthy, Infosys wife. She says another hundred years also, this print will not be replaced. Technology will be there, no doubt, but print cannot be replaced. Original thought. You cannot replace human being. Na? Human feelings are different. You see the one point in many angles. I see the same point in another many angles. Let us collaborate. This is networking. This is integrating. This is collaborating. These are the new era. The, we are actually shifting all the walks of life there is a serious change. One has to understand the dynamics of change. Change is possible. You cannot, I cannot stop it. But dynamics is very important. So that is a personal, serious, learner's reflective question. 
thank you thank you very much sir uh, this is uh, really uh, interestingly you have um, elaborated to the another uh, consecutive questions also and uh, one elaboration one of our participants wants to know that uh, uh, distributed disturbed optimism and disturbed convenient optimism. convenient pessimism so Actually, uh, if you <laughs> want to elaborate very uh, quickly Actually, as i know that re reference materials you have given it is uh, explaining many on this very quickly you can explain on this actually uh, professor v s prasad you know he is your also a resource person yeah he has written a book a, a paper on uttarakhand open university uh, foundation day professor nageshwar rao called him he has written that paper and sent to me sent to me and asked me my feelings i said after 70 years you have still that vigor sir highly appreciable i replied don't praise me creamy me critical comments he said my name is sir the disturbed optimism i like it see any optimistic or pessimistic both will die how will die the both are models how will die it is our choice so some say i will die optimism some say pessimism many say I, i told sir there is one more category uh this convenient pessimism is there duniya bar mein jaane jo mera tanka mere ko aa rahe pessimism sir second point second category people also there sir in the institution bol ke bola so that uh, just to provoke that to stimulate that away from the stream i always quote his uh, like uh, ideas it's a purpose is simple to motivate we are all optimistic or pessimistic but we have to live how to live is is our choice so better we will disturb even even everybody disturb pessimist disturbed optimist disturbed so that is a just to stimulate i have it even in distance education itna kare to bhi kuch nahi ho rahe aap samka mein baith ke bol sakte hai main idhar baith ke bol sakta hu nahi hota hai fir bhi karna hai am we are paid for it thank you sir uh, uh, this this is quite very interesting questions we received Uh, how can we enhance the professional quality among the teachers especially those who are doing training courses through distance learning number one i i know that you were you answered this questions during your presentation widely and effectively however uh, you can you may uh, enlighten uh, within few sentence and with special reference to i am just clubbing the both the questions with special reference to measure quality of human behavior and uh, prejudice etc and what exactly mean quality of education so i'm just clubbing both the questions if you will look into the training program then what are the quality measures we are looking into that may be probability to the quality of education over to you sir uh, quality is two parameters individual level one has to sustain maintain focus second institution level the culture has to permit 